Hello, this is Bruce with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Dan Adams came up with on how to display totals with SharePoint search refiners. Dan agreed to let us create this video showing a solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. Now for the search refiners, I'm going to switch to my SharePoint page. This is a SharePoint search center, and I'm simply going to search using the asterisk, so I search for everything. This is a sample site that doesn't really have a lot of content, so there's not a whole lot to display here. But what we want to do is we want to add some number values over here on our result types that display with the number of items. That's our refinement panel, this whole section over here on the left hand side. And I want to display, again, uh, number totals with the number of items for each refiner that the search is found as part of the results. And it's a simple task to do, but what I need to do is make a change to the display template that's being used by the refiner. The file that's the display template is just an HTML file, so you can use really any editor that you prefer. In my case, I've mapped a drive to my catalog from my search center, and I'm gonna go into the master page folder here are the catalogs, and from there I'm going to go to my display templates, and then the particular template that I'm after is under the subfolder of filters. And in my case, I'm using the default, which is just a single item display, but you can also have a uh, multi-item display, and there's two different display templates. For the single item, it's just the filter default, and for the I should say it was multi-value, not multi-item. But for the multi-value, there's a separate multi-value display template. Now you'll notice that there's a JavaScript file that's associated with each file in here in the display template. You don't edit, you don't ever edit the JavaScript file. You would simply edit the display template, the HTML file, and SharePoint behind the scenes will update the appropriate JavaScript file. It's really always a good idea before you make a change to any of these display templates to make a copy of it. So all I'm gonna do is just copy my filter default and I'll just right click and paste it into the same folder so that I have a backup. So in case I do something wrong, I can always go back and restore my backup. And in my case, I'm gonna edit it using my Visual Studio Editor. So I'm just gonna right click my file and open it with Visual Studio. The change I need to make to this file is right at the top. The entry to show counts is really already there, but what I want to do is this little section, this option section, there's the show counts value, and what I want to do is change it from its default value of false, just change it to true. So I'll overwrite false with true, and then I'll use my save button here in my toolbar, save the file, and close Visual Studio. And if I switch back to my browser, and all I gotta do is refresh my search results, we should see now that we have totals, count totals, for all of the refiners and the number of items that meet each particular refiner for both, in my case, my uh, document type and my author. So it's really a very simple change, very simple edit to make. Uh, again, make sure you make a backup copy in case you do make a mistake. But again, very simple. Thanks again to Dan Adams for the inspiration for this video. You can find more articles by Dan on his blog at the address shown here. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.